Hey guys, this is Spencer coming back to you on um, basically how to choose an optic. There's a lot more that goes into optics than just slapping one on top of your uh, firearm. Um, one is you've got a uh, different um, size of reticle basically, your MOA. Uh, you know you've got most of them are either like two, three, or six. Uh, six of course being a, you know, a big fat red dot. Uh, two being a smaller one, you know, three being half the size of the six, two being smaller than the three, and they do, I believe, make one and a half, um, but those are uh, a little harder to come by uh, for all of your, especially like pistols and stuff, so typically you're going to find two, three, and six, and more common is, is the three and the six. Um, the Holosun 507C, I believe the center reticle is a 2, and I believe the outer reticle is a 32. Uh, so it, give you, it gives you a cho choice of both, actually. You can either choose just the 2, you can choose just the 32, or you can have both, which is the way mine is set uh, on my carry gun. Um, this is the Vortex Venom. Uh, it's a 3 MOA. Um, which isn't bad, and it, this is red. That's, there's another thing to choose is the size of the reticle. Uh, out, uh, not the size, but the color of the reticle. So you've got uh, green and red, and I believe they're starting to play around with blue. Um, however, I believe for most people, the green picks up, your eyes pick up green better than red. Uh, some of you don't, so maybe you pick up red better than green. Uh, and I'm going to try to show you uh, the reticles. I don't know if I can. All right, so that red reticle is right there. It is very, very hard to see on camera. Uh, I was hoping I would get a little bit better one than that, but that's uh, that's your red dot. That's your red reticle. This is a 3MOA. Uh, this is distorting it a little bit. It is not quite that big. Uh, it is, in fact, is fairly small. Uh, the way that looks, it's probably uh, a quarter, if not smaller than that size. Um, <clears throat> With the MOAs, basically, if you have a 6 MOA, it's going to be easier to pick up on the reticle, um, or the red dot, or the green dot, or whatever it is. And uh, But if you have, you know, like if you have a 6 MOA, and let's say this is a person, you know, the 6 MOA might look like this over the person, over their center of mass, uh, to where, you know, a 3 MOA would be half of that. Uh, so that's the things you got to understand is 3 MOA is going to be for more accuracy. The 6 MOA is just going to be hit the person. Uh, which, in all honesty, when you're um, aiming and it's um, on the person, that when you typically red dots are made to help people with both eyes open. Uh, a lot of people can't get it with iron sights. Um, but when you learn how to shoot with both eyes open, the uh, dots uh, help a lot. Uh, and then the... Uh, the dot just basically superimposes on your target. So you can see the target with both eyes, uh, but the dot will be through whatever. My, I'm left eye dominant, so it will be through my left eye. It will superimpose on my target. Uh, so this is the green one. Get that green one in there. So that green one on mine, again, it's the 32. You can't tell it, but it's actually not filled in like that. Uh, it is actually has a small uh, two dot, or two MOA dot in the center. Uh, in the 32 around it, and I really, really like it. Uh, I like it set up like that. Uh, and it, this one is set up with the uh, Holosun 507C. Uh, it is set, it has that solar panel on top, so the brighter it is outside, the brighter it becomes. The lighter it is, the lighter it becomes. So you can't see this now, uh, but in a dark room, I can still see that. And a little bit, a room with a little more light. There it is. It will pop up a little brighter, and the more light you get, the brighter it goes. Uh, so when I'm in a dark room with this Holosun, uh, it's not bright at all. It's just where I can superimpose on my target. Uh, but when I get out in the bright sunlight, it gets really bright, so I can still superimpose on my target. Uh, this one does not do this. Uh, this is the red dot. My eyes don't pick up on this well at all anyway. Uh, I can see it. Uh, it's a little blurred for me. Uh, it's not a real... Uh, a good one for me because it's a red dot. Uh, this is my firearm, but um, I bought this uh, mainly because it was suggested to me. I got it. It's okay. Uh, if I ever decide, I may swap out to the Holosun on this one. Uh, the Holosun I really, really like. I can pick up really, really well. Uh, and then, of course, this is the uh, SIG 
365 with the SIG dot and I doubt that we're going to be able to pull it up on this one at all. Uh, this one for me in fact I cannot even pick up on the red dot with my eyes. It is so dim. Um, I don't know a whole lot about this one. Uh, but I can't pick, I, I literally, my eyes will not pick up on that red dot whatsoever. Uh, I'm not going to be able to pick up on that. This one is super hard to see. Uh, let's see if it does any better with this red dot in the dark. There you go. All right, so you can see that red dot. Now, again, it's not quite that big. Uh, the camera is just, I don't have it focused in right here. Uh, and it's not going to focus in just on that dot. Uh, and then again, we've got this one. There it goes. It's picking up on it. There it goes. Right there, you see that little dot? That's a 2 MOA dot with a 32 MOA circle around it. Uh, that's the way I like it. Um, now I am going to try to hold it. And I'm going to cut some light on. See if it brightens up. Alright, it wasn't enough to brighten up on there. Um, but now I'm going to cut my camera light back on. See how that brightened up like that? Uh, I know it's hard to tell. It's hard for me to hold it still. Uh, I should probably make a jig or something so you can really see. Uh, but choosing a red dot, uh, there's more to it than just going to the store and say, hey, I want that red dot or that uh, green dot. Um, I highly suggest looking at the um, functions of them. You know, how bright can they go? Do they, do they have like shake awake? This one does not have shake awake. This one just stays on all the time. And I just had to replace the battery of this one. Um, I believe it's rated at like 30 or 50,000 hours. Um, it did not hit that. I, I changed this one. Um, just now and I've only had it on there about a year I believe um, so it did not hit that I don't know uh, how many uh, it actually hit it probably hit about 20,000 hours 25,000 hours so if it is rated for 30,000 that is close um, but I know it didn't hit 50,000 hours it wasn't two years uh, and I just changed the battery but if you change the battery once a year that's not that big of a deal you just got to keep uh, in mind uh, this is not my carry gun. This is one that I actually keep uh, staged in the house. Uh, this is the uh, 5.7. Uh, really nice gun. It's something that uh, me and my wife both, uh, you know, of course, can handle this gun. Uh, and it's, it's got a good bit of uh, uh, power to it in such a small round. I like that gun. Um, and I like the way it functions. It's not doesn't have the slope ramp has a straight ramp the jams aren't there So I like this gun if you're looking for an in-house uh, gun. This is a good gun um, This one I'm making a holster for um, I like the SIGs. They're nice guns. I don't like the red dots um, That's not my I would not have that red dot on there My choice is the Holosun of some sort the 507 C is what fits the uh, Taurus G3 C's and a lot of other guns um, this one has shake awake, meaning when it goes dormant in your holster, um, it goes to sleep. It cuts off. But when you yank it out of that holster, it wakes up. Uh, so it comes back on. And it is rated, I believe, for 50,000 hours awake. Uh, standby, I don't remember what standby was. Uh, so when you shake it and it wakes up, uh, you've got 50,000 hours of that. So you should have at least uh, two years on your battery. Uh, and the battery I like on this one. This is another thing to look for is the battery. The battery on this one is on the side. Um, this is the 507C, um, the GRX2, the Green Laser X2, uh, and the battery is on the side. So I don't have to pull this off to change it. Now I do pull this off to clean my gun, so I reset it anyway. Uh, the same with this one. This one's on top, so I don't have to pull this off to change the battery. Uh, now you get into some of these, you have to take this off and the battery is up underneath it. Uh, I'm not a fan of that either. So as far as this one's concerned, I'm not a fan at all. Um, this one, I like the way the battery changes. Um, it's got a good clear view. If you can pick up on the red dot, this could be a go-to for you. Uh, but again, for about the same price, uh, you've got one that you've got the green dot or red dot, whichever one you want, uh, the small dot, the big circle, or both. Uh, it has the shake awake and it has the uh, solar panel up top uh, to make it brighter or dimmer depending on your lighting conditions. Uh, all right, so there's more to choose, uh, more to it than just choosing your red dot and saying, hey, I like the way that looks in the case. I like the way it sits and looks on top of the gun. Because um, in all honesty, I personally don't like the way they look on top of the guns, but I like what they function and what they do. Uh, so my, my personal pick isn't the best looking one. Mine's what they do. Um, although I think this one does look a little better 
sitting on top of that one than that one does. Um, however, I'm still not a fan of this big thing sticking up here, but I like what it does. Uh, so as far as choosing the red dot, that is things to consider. Uh, when picking one, I suggest going to the store, holding a red one, holding a green one, see which one your eyes pick up on better, uh, and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> I know this one holds, uh, it holds, I've never had to adjust it by just shooting it. I, you do have to adjust it if you pull it off and clean your gun, uh, like ultrasonically, like I do every once in a while. Uh, so you would have to do that uh, for adjusting that. Uh, so that's things to consider when choosing your um, uh, red dot or green dot. Uh, also, if you do decide to go to a red or green dot, you know, you've got your iron sights. Um, one thing you might want to choose is to get your suppressor height sight, so replace your sights out. I actually have some order for this one. Uh, so you can uh, co-witness. You can actually, if this died, I could still aim with my sights. I can't do it right now. Um, but if you want a co-witness, I do suggest having a little co-witness sight sticking up there. Uh, I know the Hellcat RDP comes like that, and there's a couple others that come like that. Um, I believe the uh, Shadow Systems MR920 comes like that, and there's a couple others as well. Um, but I do suggest co-witnessing the sights. Uh, again, I have some on order, so I can co-witness. Uh, and that, especially learning to shoot it, um, there is a learning curve to this. It's not like iron sights. Iron sights, you get... Uh, in where you want them and it's there. This one, uh, the more, the little bit you move it, that red dot moves around, it's almost like it floats. Uh, so there's a learning curve to this. Uh, so choosing them, when you get a set of um, uh, sights on there, your, your optics, your uh, red or green dot on top, uh, you really need to uh, do a lot of practice with it because there is a learning curve. It is not like iron sights. Uh, it, it's closer to a scope, but it's not quite like a scope either. Um, because usually on a scope you're mounted and you, you don't you're not holding it out here you've got good uh, a good grip on it and you can actually control it a lot better than the handgun so there is a learning curve to this but once you learn it and you learn how to keep your both your eyes open with it uh, and you can superimpose on your target uh, it makes uh, target acquisition very very fast and very very accurate uh, so if you're looking at some dots uh, those are things to consider when choosing a dot. Uh, again, my go-to is the Holosun. Uh, I'm not knocking the uh, Vortex. They're good. Uh, the Holosun just has features that I like that this one does not. Uh, I'm not a fan of this one at all, the SIG uh, on the uh, pistol. Uh, I do have a, a SIG Romeo on a couple of my uh, ARs uh, that I'm a fan of, uh, but I'm not a fan of the pistol one. Uh, so that's things to consider guys uh, if you're looking for uh, some optics to put on top of your um, handguns. Uh, this is Spencer with Defense Training. Stay safe. Stay armed. Please like, subscribe, and comment on this video below. Thanks.